At this point in time, we all know it. Danny's world is huge. And with something being huge, there's a bunch of different things that come with it. For example, one of the things being AUs. AU meaning alternative universe. And in case you didn't know, an alternative universe is a hypothetical universe coexisting with one's own, typically distinct in some way. It is essentially a different take on a universe we know. Basically, Danny's world. A beautiful example of what an AU is, and more specifically, a Danny's world AU, would be Danny's Wasteland. This was my first taste of what an alternative universe looked like in the first place. With that being said, I was going to go over some Danny's world alternative universes, and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna make my own. And boy, I've been waiting a long time to make this video. I've been letting these thoughts marry. I've been letting them cook. But first, we're gonna let ourselves get inspired a little bit by your guys' alternative universes. Let's check this out. The first alternative universe that we are going to look at is going to be by Kowalts. So as you can see, this is a great example of what a Danish World alternative universe looks like. It's a character put into a different universe with their own stats, etc., etc., etc. You can take whatever twist you you want on this and i'm going to be taking dan's world characters and making my own universe but like i said let's get inspired so this is this person's take on poppy poppy is one fun friend poppy loves to encourage her friends to be the best they can no matter what her bubbly energetic personality <laughs> get it bubbly energetic because she's a bubble but her ability makes her make well strong-willed and a bit stubborn this tune is always ready to lend a helping hand however she can I always help by giving a lending hand to Poppy. Um, don't look at my YouTube shorts. Either way, her trinket is going to be Heart Shades. It is a passive ability, or I grant you a passive ability, rather. Upon arriving on a new floor, a random Twisted will be highlighted. You may see that Twisted for the rest of that floor. This person's alternative universe seems to be more like just respecking, which is okay. You're allowed to do that. As you can see, she has three health, two skill check, three movement speed, four stamina, three stealth, three extraction speed, and her ability is Protect pop poppy will place a shield on a tune that lasts for 20 seconds this bubble will take one hit for that tune that it's replaced on and will increase stamina regeneration by 15 percent so that ability is actually super good i don't know if you're a main tune or just like a pebble or a distractor running around and you can get a bubble and increase your stamina especially maybe when panic mode starts that is actually surprisingly really really good moving up next we got boxy boy and boxy boy is one bashful tune so that stays the same even in a different universe somehow some way our boy is still a little bit of a shy guy while he only feels comfortable around tunes he knows well he's a hard worker and isn't afraid to stand up for what he thinks is right boxing loves to study linguistics and will take any chance to talk about it quiet and often self-reserved this tune is a great friend i bet boxing would be a great friend the only thing that i feel kind of weird though is this is where the au's come in boxing being a freaking like librarian type beat i never really would see boxing being the intellectual type but in this world he is he's him and his starting trinket is going to be the linguistics study book and it gives you an active ability so i guess this is kind of where the alternative universe differs a little bit where your trinkets give you abilities rather than buffs upon activation any items in your vicinity automatically get re-rolled into a random item one tier higher than dandy shop items are included in the re-roll chance whoa wait so yeah items being sold in the dandy shop can also be re-rolled so the part where it talks about one tier higher from dandy shop is kind of weird because there's different rarities every single time either way i like the idea of it being re-rolled one tier higher than what it currently is set at and in case you were unaware items in dandy's world do actually have rarities for example this whole row is uncommon items these row like the air horn enigma candy bandage and jumper cables are rare things like the health kit box of chocolates eject button or sorry the health kit bottle of pop and box of chocolates are very rare whereas like the smoke bomb the valve and the eject button are ultra rare items this guy is basically saying that you could find a instructions on the ground and you re-roll it and then instead you're gonna get a bandage or like a jumper cable which situationally so freaking cool furthermore in this universe, <gasps> furthermore in this universe our boxy boy is still an absolute gen jockey with the skill check being five, which is cr crazy. And his ability is called learning from the past mistakes, which box increases extraction speed by 10% for each failed skill check attempt for the rest of the floor. This can only stack up to 40%. Okay, that's kind of a cool quirky ability. Like you purposely fail. <laughs> you you purposely fail uh, to go and finish machines faster. That's awesome. Coming up next, we have their OC. You can look at this if you want, but I'm going to move on. Not because I'm... I I don't like their OC. It's not that I don't think it's very, very cool. I just am looking at tunes that I know. Up next, we have Cosmo. And this art is great. Also, everyone's 19 in this universe. Is that is that how this universe works? But you guys are starting to get an idea of how this AU works. Here's an example of a different AU. This one's by Astronomical Waves. So here is Boxton once again. A shy but friendly tune. 
Boxen loves to help others and fix things up when they're broken. Sometimes he gets absorbed in his own work at times and focuses super hard. Disgusted that he used and that his hands have done things not even realized. He wanted them gone, but the Iker wouldn't let that happen. He wanders searching for tunes, working on machines. That is so ominous and very extremely creepy. But this AU, once again, doesn't seem too far off in the future. But this this is giving very Dead by Daylight vibes. Yo. Poppy on roller skates. Yo. Oh, this AU is sick. As you can see, a fun-loving and hyperactive tune, Poppy loves making friends and does anything she can to ensure that everyone is happy. Although she can't speak, that doesn't stop her from expressing herself and showing kids. Desperate for a voice she never knew that she had, she tried her best to get it back by tearing into herself. What? Huh? I think that means figuratively, but I immediately am thinking like absolute rabid crazy twisted she like was literally tearing into her. that is that is graphic i don't think wow i think i'm the problem here let's move on what no way dude shrimpo kind of looks like a satyr mixed with the uh, one of those like bug things nothing but a bully shrimpo doesn't care about anyone but himself and hates everything so <laughs> you can still see that the core mechanics of shrimpo and a lot of the tunes have remained the same bullying just used to be petty insults has now turned to violence against others who outcasted him despite it being his fault he lumbers across the floors of garden view looking for a victim to take down with a swift and heavy punch what is wrong with shrimpo dude i also just want to look at the art of this look at tisha without her broken mop she's a shell she doesn't know who she is anymore. Cosmo having a straw in his face, but still wearing the bracelet to match with Sprout. Aww. Here's an even crazier Danny's alternative universe. This person actually put the tunes themselves into a gotcha, like a gotcha game online, but gave them full on descriptors and guns. <laughs> no matter how far you run, no matter how far you want to leave it, if you think you can leave it in the past, you can. No matter what, Dandy's World with guns is always going to exist, bro. Also, I just want to show this. Random object show that someone found. There's Shrimpo just in an object show. Uh, Dandy's World, I'm telling you guys, Dandy's World's getting huge. It actually is just getting massive. Also, here's one last random AU idea that I thought was kind of funny. Basically, Dandy has turned everyone into a twisted, but doesn't know how to turn them back. Oh, so you mean like the current state? I'm kidding. He tried literally everything he could think of, but nothing worked. But then somehow, I don't know how, Poppy turned back to normal and managed to hide until Dandy realized that she was down there and rescued her. Now that they have to work together to de-twist everyone, which entails Poppy going down and one by one de-twisting them. Which I think is like a really cool concept of a video game. We all wish Dandy's Wasteland is getting turned into a video game. There's a lot of fan-made Dandy's World games. With those good vibes flowing through my veins i believe it's time for hopeless to make his own dandy's world universe Woo! buckle up this is this is gonna not go good all right every great dream starts with the title and don't worry it's not like i'm coming up with the idea of this now i already know exactly what i'm gonna do and the name that we are going to go for what i'm gonna call it is dandy's nine to five okay uh so the idea that i had is kind of a play on a youtube video i saw a while ago but it, it was my i guess it was inspired by that unconsciously but i'm basically going to be spinning a wheel with literally every single dandy's world tune and turning them into a human and then putting them in real life scenario and giving them stats based on what occupation i think they would have um so <laughs> yeah yep that is that is the yep let's see who the first tune is here we go we got all the tunes on the wheel let's see who's getting their job first what tune is getting popped into their own universe one character that i will be doing no matter what even if it doesn't land on them is going to be oh gg would be so fun please give me gg no it would have been a robber it would have been awesome okay fine whatever i did commission someone to draw boxed in in real life so we're gonna be doing boxed in period but we're starting off as you guys saw with cosmo and dandy's nine to five all right so in this dandy's nine to five wasteland we're gonna give every single tune an occupation how adaptable they are we're going to give them a list of positives. We're going to give them a list of negatives. We're going to give them an items or items and specific ability that they would have essentially in real life. I obviously think it would make sense for Cosmo and Sprout to both be bakers. But the thing is, when it comes to baking, it seems like out of the two-headed dragon, 
out of the one that gives you orders and one that takes the orders and one that kind of listens, between Sprout and Cosmo in the kitchen, it definitely seems like Sprout is more the passive kind. So I don't think Cosmo would be the type of person to own a bakery. I think they would just be like they would work for someone in a bakery. So I would say work in bakery. And you know, bakers, bakers make a little bit of bread. Head bakers, some making up to 52500 a year. So... In the 9 to 5 wasteland, Cosmo could make it work for themselves. Moving on from that, we have to talk about how adaptable or their time in the 9 to 5 Cosmo would have. And as far as adaptability goes, if it was on a scale of 1 to 10, meaning that one tune had to be a 10 and one tune had to be a 1, I feel like Cosmo's pretty good. I feel like they have a like 6.6 .6 at adaptability. So I said Cosmo has gathered his footing since that is the I spelt that wrong. Cosmo's gather his footings that and i spelled that wrong again oh my gosh i how how i'm an idiot cosmos gathered his footing since being put into the nine to five world at first he was very confused but he's grown accustomed and enjoying the real world and i think that's a fair assessment for cosmo and dandy's nine to five some positives that cosmo has is sprout is with him which i guess it's like oh it's a positive about yourself and it's like oh you you have someone else <gasps> you know it's like maybe maybe that isn't the great is positive uh i'm gonna say that he is mostly optimistic he's a rather optimistic person and the nine to five i have cosmos always on time he's someone no matter what no matter what situation you're in i believe you can like rely on cosmo to always show up on time he'll never be late and some negatives to cosmo he's he's rather self-degrading he's not very confident in himself and this takes away from his work and kind of the reason why he works in a bakery and isn't actually the head baker he can never really find enough confidence to really just even though he's skilled enough and good enough he can't allow himself to do it essentially always allowing himself to be 1b to sprout i also just put quiet slash shy i don't think that's inherently a negative it's just he really will only talk when like sprouts around and as far as items go what would be a unique item that if cosmo could bring like the way i'm viewing this right is items are garnered or you get items in this world if you had to bring one from garden view right and it would it would be the bracelet and inside of the nine to five the bracelet is worth it's just worth 2k that's that's the ability of the item and it symbolizes him and sprouts best like their friendship but the thing is no matter how fall or like how far they fall or if they fall flat on their face and no matter any circumstance or any situation cosmo can always sell the bracelet and i guess it's kind of a bond in a a trust test between Cosmo and Sprout that they don't sell the bracelet and make some bread. And with that being said, do I believe that the healer, the support tune who sacrifices himself for others would have a specific ability in Danny's world? And I gave him his ability as suck up. Uh, basically like a teacher's pet. Uh, he can use his ability called suck up where he can gain positive influence on first interactions with people. I don't know why. I just feel like Cosmo would be the type to kind of have that allure over people maybe irrational for sure but i think it's fun either way let's spin that wheel who's gonna be the next person in our nine to five i won't lie i hope it's gg Ooh, this is a fun one no don't do tisha don't do tisha yeah roger's fun so without almost any hesitation about this whatsoever i just i see roger being a detective i think we kind of all see roger being a detective in my head it's almost canonic that roger is a detective so with that being said roger inside of danny's world is already probably the hardest worker and being forced into a nine to five scenario i could only see him being locked in more i might argue that there might not be someone who's more adaptable than roger than like shelly with that being said he's gonna get a 10 out of 10 adaptability i think him getting sucked in to the real life workforce is actually the perfect blend of spices and his three positives back to back to back i just went straight to hardworking. he's intelligent and he's focused you give roger a task you put him on the case he is not quitting until that case gets solved skin tooth and nail he's giving everything he has towards that case which with that being said could also be viewed as a negative with that being said roger doesn't sleep he has terrible hygiene. I, I feel like Roger is slightly just disheveled all the time and kind of has like a pungent coffee breath, maybe even like a little bit of a cigarette breath all the time. Not a pleasant smell. He has no me time. He's literally only work and also neglect. I don't know if he has a wife and kids at home, but um, if he did, um, th th uh, they get annoyed.
a little bit. You know, I also realized that I stutter a lot. I do it on purpose for, in my eyes, in my head, I think it's funny. But realistically, I think it just makes it seem like I'm not confident. So I think I'm going to stop doing that. Starting now, I'm giving up a hopeless quirk. And if Roger had any ability or any item or anything that he could bring on over, just in general, what's an item that I think Roger would have? It doesn't necessarily have to be from... And for Roger, I'm just going to put down Notebook. The way I see this helping him inside of the 9 to 5 Wasteland, or <laughs> wait, 9 to 5 Wasteland, the Dandy's 9 to 5, is that he can cite back to a lot of his key stuff that he's looked on in the past. Basically, just knowledge. He just more knowledge. And for Roger's ability, I'm going to give him the ability called Red Herring. If you don't know what Red Herring is, in like a novel or in fiction, a Red Herring is something that's literally just supposed to throw the reader off which i hate red herring that's why i know what they are so well it literally is just to throw you off the story for a little bit with that being said what red herring does is let's say he has four potential leads he can just cut it down by one not one he can just cut it down by one he can eliminate one of the leads in his job search just he just knows he can cut it out he's like this isn't it this is a lead. I'm going to waste my time here. And then basically, ultimately, saving him time because he's just so hardworking and intelligent. I also said I was going to do Boxton. I just looked over at my recording and realized I've been recording for 50 minutes. Um, I actually, I can't. I, uh, I have an appointment that I have to get to. Wow, I was going to edit this before it too. That's crazy. I had a lot of fun doing this. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I got kicked for being idle. Crazy. Okay. Well, either way, with that being said, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I really did. And if you guys want to see more dandies 9 to 5, drop a, drop a, drop a like. Leave a comment. Let me know. With that being said, that's it from this skeleton, and I'll see you guys all again soon. Bye!